Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, family. How are you? This is one half of your aunties could never. I'm Auntie Shade. And I'm Auntie Nana. And we are doing the Love Island season nine review. Love Island taking place on IPTV. ITV2. Why can't I get that out? It's really annoying. Um, <laughs> and we just love this show. We love the romance, the bromance, the friendships, the drama. And today, mm, kind of lacking on the drama a little bit, a little bit. Um, but yeah, before we get into it, guys, we are still trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We will stop banging on. No, we won't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be another milestone after that one. Exactly. <laughs> so we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button now. Also, make sure you comment on this video, like this video, and also share it with like-minded people too. It really, really just helps us grow. And, you know, we like you guys, and we hope that you like us too. So anything they can do to help us, we really appreciate that. And then also remember, we are not therapists, we're not psychoanalysts, we're not relationship specialists, we're just two very opinionated aunties who, you know, are just sharing what we think on things. So, you know, use your common sense, take our opinions with a pinch of salt, you know, and if you've got any real issues, please just take it up with ITP2, the producers there, you know? Um, And so, also to mention, as we was talking about yesterday, we have a live show coming up for our main show, Your Aunties Can Never On The Podcast. We have a a live show coming up on the 18th of March um, at the Barbican, and tickets are live. Then we're going to put the link in the... Yep, okay, perfect. So we have uh, guests like Romel London, Richie uh, Brave, Mm -hmm. someone else... They're the two that have been announced so far. We have some more being announced next week, but we're going to have about eight guests in total joining us for this show. (laughs) So, yeah, it's going to be a great show. Um, It's going to be a little bit different from our, you know, our recordings and stuff. It's going to be fun, interactive. We're going to be giving away prizes. So please, please, please make sure you get your tickets. Don't say we didn't you know encourage you warn you all of that good stuff do you know what I mean you yeah. have been told okay yeah. so <laughs> and also I don't know if you're here tonight Sistrin but thank you for getting your tickets you was one of our early bird customers really appreciate that um yeah so looking forward to seeing you there okay Auntie Nana okay all right so- Yes, yes. Today wasn't that dramatic at all. Mm-hmm. There were dramatics in it. Yes. And, um, it was really about Casey and Claudia. And yeah. the thing is, do we really care about those two? But th- that was the show. It was yeah. really those two, like just yeah, their ups and downs. And we had bombshells come in who mm-hmm. are not really bomb. So, yeah. <laughs> you don't mean- I thought, I thought Rosie was cute. I think, Ke- Ke- is it Keenan or Kieran? I can't remember. Keenan. 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 Mm-hmm. Keenan is cute. Yeah, I thought he was all right. He's a bit rugged. <laughs> I don't know why I don't the shoulder should be, but. <laughs> I have no idea. No, they were, they're lacking. They're lacking, the pair of them. But, you know, yeah, the show wasn't mm. the best. it wasn't the best not after this week it was like a bit of a mm, okay it was okay. a filler i think we could have de- we could have dealt with some of these things earlier in the week to be yeah. honest do you know what i mean it just was like eh, you're dragging it out a little bit too much exactly that you know I mean? so yeah, yeah. Um, but, so let's get into it yeah so yeah as you said casey and claudia Basically, they're on the rocks. I think they had a bit of a chat. They had a couple of chats, but they had a bit of a chat. (laughs) Yeah. And, you know, she was just like, um, was that before or after they got the text? Oh, they got the text already. Yes. So, um, you know, he he was trying to downplay that he was excited. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? (laughs) He was. was so excited. He was excited. And, you know, she felt it in her gut. So one yeah. thing I will say about Claudia today, her gut told her what was up. And these girls around her was basically saying, ignore your gut. And I'm telling you, like, honestly, that is the worst piece of advice. Because the girls are terrible. They are. Like, they all are. of them are really, really bad. And 
the fact that all the guys could see, Casey, you're only just kind of into her. But the girls are all like, no, but he loves you. He adores you. Look, look at the way he looks at you. You're so beautiful. It's like he's just barely into you, really. Like you've blatantly been getting on his nerves this week. Yeah. Been, like humoring you. Like, yeah. Like, and also, I, I don't think he actually appreciated how she was towards Sophia. Like, I don't think he actually liked that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I think it showed her character, and I don't think he was, like, super down with that. Even though he was an arsehole about it, because he even tried to downplay it, like, oh, it was nothing. No, you was involved, bro. But, you, do you know what I mean? But I think he's, in his judgmentalness, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's judging her also, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. yeah so Because he did switch when she said... Like you were, she said that you were saying sorry, and he was like, mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm gonna say sorry. She was crying, like, Yeah, feelings were hurt. Like, are said, you Why was you saying that? Like, yeah, that, yeah, I think he was a bit. Like, Do I even want to chat to this chick? Really, yeah, yeah. exactly. I totally agree with that. Um, <laughs> and then we kind of cut to <laughs> Shaq and Tanya, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why am I laughing hard, Auntie Dana? Why am I laughing? You know what, yeah? I wouldn't have minded if we got that Shaq and Tanya were back together on Monday, yeah? Okay. So at least it was like a day had gone past. Yeah. Or was it just the next evening? It wasn't even the evening. It was just the next morning. Like, oh, my God. I'm like, this is, I get it. Yes, he's in love. I get it. I get it. He's in love. But. Can it, you know what, yeah? Do you know what came to mind? Sorry, sorry, I get excited, so I'm just jumping in. But like, do you know what came to mind is that sometimes you got to stay out of people's relationships, you know? Some people have dramatic relationships, but yeah. they still make it work. They yeah. really do. And this is, uh, this, I'm telling you, this is, <laughs> this is what I think these two are. Honestly, they've just got a really dramatic relationship. They're, you know, I don't know. I don't think that she loves him. <laughs> no, even when he said but, it, she kind of like held off for a bit. Of course. Probably, I don't yeah, know within I'm... herself was thinking, should I actually say that I love you in a problem? Well, I don't. Yeah. But then after a while, she gave into it, isn't it, as well? But I was like, Shaq, man, no, no, just... <laughs> oh, you see what I, one thing I do know, yeah. One thing I can spot is that <laughs> don't want to. Say, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> As Vince Excel Digital has said today, it was confirmed that Shaq is the cock of life. <laughs> <laughs> cock. cock. <laughs> Oh, Shaq, man. Oh, mate. I just I just kind of think, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it from anybody. Seriously. This guy. <laughs> For me, he doesn't disappoint because I know exactly the kind of guy he is. I know exactly. Seriously. 24 hours to 48 hours was all I was like, just like experience life alone. That was, that was it. Just nice. a little bit. He loves yeah. it. He loves the energy. He loves that. He loves the drama. He loves it. He actually <laughs> does. And he said, I love you first. He doesn't even <laughs> care. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's just like, yeah, go in. <laughs> go in. First of all, don't be surprised if they skipped a day or two of the filming. I wouldn't be surprised at that. Yeah, but yeah. it did look quite fresh. Mm. It did look like it was just the next day, though. That was the thing. Um, and Ashes to Ashes says, dramatic or toxic? I would say toxic. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic and toxic. Both. Um, Ashes, Ashes also says, I don't care. I'm here for Shania. Um, because why <laughs> the fuck not? <laughs> Everyone else is in there faking it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, yeah. I think, like, I, I don't think the producers, I think the producers are making that happen. Hence why we got the result, the way we got the result today. I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, Martin, man, just standing up there looking like a oh, Martin. Oh, his little round head. <laughs> I feel for him. <laughs> but we'll get to that because that is <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Okay. But, uh, 
we had yeah. Tanya smir smirking in that, in that conversation as well because she knows. <laughs> Cause yeah, because he did say, he said, uh, no, so Tanya said, I miss you. Mm. And Shaq said, I wish mm. better for you. Mm. It was it was annoying, but it was what my notes were. Tanya was cold and struggled to say I love you. No, she wasn't cold. She was just sick. She was not cold. She was, she was, she was, she was smug. She was smug and accomplished. That's what she thought. <laughs> she said. She said, "I know that's right." That's what she said. Yes. She was sitting there like. I even have to try for this dude. <laughs> so you, nothing's in my ear about, you know. Oh, I we, can't we, lie. We shouldn't be shouting at each other. Yeah. <laughs> and then he apologised first. <laughs> I'm, I'm, he knows he's got a petty, immature, basically, girlfriend. Like, that's yeah. not, he's got a petty, immature. He knows, but he's, he. I'm a stick beside her. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was saying. Like, yeah. You know, sometimes you got to ride through these things that yeah. some people are worth it, and it's like, all right, but she isn't. But okay, <laughs> I do, want. I do think like there are like this is if you if you flip it, and I know people say you can't just always flip genders, but I think if you do flip it, you see a lot of girls going through this with guys. Do you know what I mean? Who are like nonchalant, playing um dating other girls, being with other girls, whatever. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it happens a lot. So I don't think this is a, like. And an anonymy, I can't even say that word. Uh, like, yeah, do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. And I don't like. I think it's like people are being very dramatic in terms of like, <laughs> like going on like this is like such shocking behavior. People do this all the time. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's right, but sh people do this all the time. They all do. The time. They do. Um, Asha, so Asha said, and she looked like the cat that got the cream. She did because she didn't even have to. Will is still jumping through hoops. <laughs> and you got off easier. <laughs> and Will didn't bring the girl back. <laughs> and the thing is, Jesse says, Jesse said at one point, she and, and Shaq are in the same boat. And I was yeah, thinking that she was in that boat. <laughs> yeah, well, Shaq should be, but he decided to jump out and flip in. <laughs> he titanic himself. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy! Oh, Shaq, man! Oh, I just think it's so freaking hilarious. People really thought he was gonna stand up and be be a soldier. <laughs> Absolutely not. Just for forty eight <laughs> hours. That's all I was after. Mm -hmm. Life Support says Shaq has his eyes on the prize. He wants to make the final. He wrote that script. Was even feeding her lines. <laughs> I don't know if he's that guy. You know, I know I we want I know him, want him to be. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think he is. I don't and know. I actually do want him to be that guy, but he isn't. Yeah. He's, he's not that one. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. so then the bombshell dates. Uh, so we had Kai and Rosie. Um, <laughs> Kai was so not interested. Kai was throwing fruit at her. I would say, the <laughs> was Kai was so not interested, he decided to amuse himself by throwing things at her. <laughs> I thought that was such, so bizarre. Like, he was so, so strange. And then it was just like, it wasn't even like, oh, now you throw it at me. No, I'm going to throw it in my own mouth. Like, what? Yeah. what? You know, like, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know, like, be on a date. If someone threw, like, fruit in my, like, at me, I'll be like, what are you doing? <laughs> he sent this to my favourite. <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, yeah, I like them. So, I really do like Kai and Sanam, and I was glad that Kai wasn't even pretending to be like flirty or interesting. <laughs> like he was just being dry. That date was yeah. so dry. I agree. <laughs> totally, totally dry. Um, what was it? Jesse and Keenan, where Jesse was just talking about Will. It just seemed a bit basically off the bat, yeah. like. You know, we've had a hard week, but I really love him. Like, it was mm -hmm. just, all right, okay, waste of a thing. It just seems like oh, this is definitely producers picking for them. Um, and then we had uh, Claudia and Keenan. No, wait, no, no, Sammy, no. Sammy yeah. and Keenan, and K mm, Casey. Am I right? Casey and Rose, yeah. So, Casey and Rose. That um, 
that Ooh. seems like that's going to happen. They had an instant connection. What I thought was the only the thing that stood out for me, apart from their connection, was just like when it was just like, "Oh, you got a nice smile. Are they? Are your teeth real?" <laughs> Let, let's let's say they are. Are yours? Let's say they are. It's like okay. Is this, this the one we have? I mean, to be fair, both of their teeth are amazing as well. Mm. I hadn't really noticed. I was like, oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah I, I get you're trying to pick an aesthetic to go into the house, but that, that was, was that was cute. Yeah. I, I can see him with her, although I don't think she's all that, but I can see him with her as yeah. well. So. I think he definitely gives cheapy chappy vibes for her. Mm. Um, do you know what I mean? I think, yeah, I think they vibe quite nice. And then um, Sammy and Keenan, I thought they were vibing, but she's just so focused on Tom. She's not even going to catch the connection. Do you know what I mean? So, And it wasn't even just one, I like Tom, or me and Tom again. It was like, I really, really, really like Tom. It's like, mm. sure, yeah. spelling it out to him, like, <laughs> don't waste your time, bruv, move on to somebody else. <laughs> like, yeah. She did. She definitely made it clear. Maybe she knew there was a recoupling coming, so she don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't get no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be with you. Um, in the debrief, when the, the the Rosie came into Rosie and Keenan came into the villa, um, and they had the debrief, girls and boys. Um, Claudia sat right next to Rosie, which I thought was just such an intimidation, passive yeah, aggressive yeah. move. <laughs> probably moved somebody out of the way mm -hmm. to get that. that was literally like none of you bitches are going to be in our way like I need her to feel me yeah. <laughs> and not get too comfortable in saying that I like I like Casey feel my presence yes yeah. Yeah. um bit much Olivia was giving me hungry vibes like when um Sammy was talking about Keenan mm. um she was just it was like she was just like rugby player like yeah. like yeah, she just, uh, I just didn't like it. I was just, just like, you're going to drop Max in a heartbeat. Um, Casey's definitely, well, yeah, we know now. But at that point, I thought he's definitely jumping ship. Yeah. Uh, he's definitely, definitely jumping ship. I also saw Ron looking too hard at Rosie as well. Oh, really? I did a spot uh, then. I saw him to looking too hard, but that is kind of his type as well. That is. That so, is, is Ron's side. And the thing is, Ron and Casey kind of have a similar eye. Yeah. <laughs> they, like, so, Same girls, it's true. So, um, let's see. But I think Ron knows to play it safe with Lana at this stage. Just, yeah, he has to. Yeah, just keep that going. But, um, um, and then we had, yeah, it was a bit of a dry day. We had Casey confessing to Shaq. That he wants to jump <laughs> Rosie's bones, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Uncle Martin uh, talking to Rosie. Um, that Martin and Rosie's chat dry. Was proper dry. And I just, oh God, his, his outfit's just annoying me. Um, Why and, is it that there's this thing of like men in fashion thinking they can just fling on any just anything because Martin literally he just looks like he's going through a suitcase and just puts on anything and they're like yes because I'm into fashion there was nothing fashion no, no. about anything he's worn it's, it's just so like weird. random weird, weird weird thing going on there um Olivia and Keenan had a chat I think she was coming like it like in her way she was coming on too strong like yeah. I just <laughs> She's just like you got to do what's good for you. Like, yeah. like yeah. it's just like trying to drop so many hints. It was just like, yeah. And also, as well, when she was just like, "How old are you?" She's working out his age. And my my thought, my note is, he twenty four is too old for her. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I can't, I can't make that work. But he didn't look interested. <laughs> like just the way he was no. talking, still kind of like gazing at it. Was just like there was nothing there. Yeah. Like, I didn't even see a friendship spark. It's just she was just being inner. Like, it's just, yeah, just for you. Not 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 even a vibe. Then we had like Claudia um talking to Ron and Lana and crying over Casey. Is that the second time? I think she's like maybe doing three times. That was before it got to the evening. I think and that then, was her first meltdown. Oh, that was the first one, yeah. By the, the thing, yeah. like 
something, you know, like, although he's kind of like reassured her a bit, she mm-hmm. could tell, hang on, he's just going about his day. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't chat to her all day, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But he was saying he didn't want to upset her, but I think he's just over it. Like, I don't, I don't think he likes her that much at all. Yeah. And then evening, they got ready again. I did, my note is just that, like, like, their fashion sense is just dead. Like, this eBay um, <laughs> collaboration, yeah, it's dead. Like, let's get back to let's get back <laughs> basics because it's not working. It's not banging um, the way it should bang. No. Casey and Claudia are chatting again. Um, him then making it clear because I don't think he made it clear properly that he was going to talk to the talk to Rosie at that point, but he made it clear. Um, Claudia excludes herself and then she goes upstairs and she's blubbering. She's actually full blown blubbering. I was, I was like, Claudia is bawling. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think we've had full on bawling in the house before. Like proper. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that that was a bit shocking because again, this is what are we? They, it's a week. It did two, seem a bit... two weeks apparently. They've been together two weeks. But However, we yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm just like, it must I should be darling. <laughs> you but know. the problem is, for me, it's just like you, you're, you're because he told you. He may talk to her, you're doing this big bailing, but with Cynthia, you're smirking. So yeah. you know what my note was? Yeah, fuck you. That's <laughs> serious. You're just going to have to hold that one. I'm sorry. I don't have no sympathy at all. You well, were laughing. You did not give a shit about Cynthia. Do you know what I mean? Her feelings or anything like that. And then lo and behold. Yeah. A few days later, you're bailing more than once. And yeah. he has a he hasn't actually, like, left you. Like, he's just oh, he like, hasn't. He's just like, I want to talk to. Her. Yeah, I'm I just going to talk to her. Like, it's it's nothing crazy yet. Like, yeah. If you think of the amount of times that Lana went through it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't even believe nobody's being like, "Chick, this is only your first rodeo." Like, Lana was yeah. living with and runs in other people's beds and and you're yeah. bawling. Like, Chat it's to like, Shaq. Like, it's fun. Like, do you know what I mean? What you're dealing with is nothing. Just talk to Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk to Sammy even. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's a Jesse. Jesse. Like, it's it's a flipping perspective on your life. <laughs> <laughs> we, this is an overreaction. I'm sorry. It's just such an overreaction. And I'm just like, this girl is so fucking entitled. Like, I just, yeah. just because you want what you want. No. Yeah. Like you can't have it this time. How about that? You you, you can't have it. So, and I I I know it sounds bad, but like I could I was distracted by her lash. It was just oh, hanging off, and I just yeah. none of these girls have told this girl that her lash is hanging off, and that's mean. They should have they're told her. bitches. They're they bitches. bitches, and they they love to watch her her cry as well. And you know Olivia standing beside her giving her back the pep talk like you know you're special you're one of the best so he was, he should be thankful to have you it's like well he's not no he's not and why should he be thankful to have you what did, what 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 are you bring <laughs> what are you bringing to the table <laughs> well to be fair it's funny <laughs> probably so but he's- Seem to care about her dad and what he's got. Like not now. I think, but I think he he's also as well. He's he's what do you call it emboldened. Like do you know what I mean? Because he done what he done with Cynthia and Claudia is still there. Do you know what yes. I mean? So it's just like, well, I can chat to two people. Like he, you, and also is I think Casey. Anyway, <laughs> I do think Casey is one of them guys. He's there for last holiday. He's now having his real experience. You know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to grab some comments? Yes. So, um, Life of Bodge said Cynthia wasn't a threat, and um, Angela's Utopia says Cynthia is depressing. Casey, she's. Yeah. I mean, I think you mean, um, what's her name? Uh, Claudia. Claudia mm-hmm. is depressing. Casey, she's pushing him away with her misery. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. George says the girls just tell each other what they want to hear rather than what they need to hear. Exactly. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In this case, it's just, yeah, just nonsense. No one's being real. And she just needs to really just 
I just pull it together. That's all. And it isn't just like pull it together because it isn't that deep. And like Casey seeing you crying or hearing that you're crying over this is not going to change how yeah. he's going to move. It's not. He's going to be more like, okay, well, you know, this is a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump faster. Yeah, I guess this is the thing. It is that gut feeling that you have. You know something is up, and then you start running with it. Mm-hmm. If you're able to be like navigate through that, like actually, okay, so my eggs can't all be in that basket because they're mm-hmm. deviating. Right? Instead of being like, no, why is this happening to me? You're probably gonna get over the hurdles a lot faster. Yeah, he's in that sunken place of like, oh my god, woe is me. And it's like it's just not that deep. It is gonna be woe is me because you're calling it onto yourself. You're not fun. She weren't even smiling. That girl's face has been sour. Oh, seriously, seriously. He's got to look at your sour face all the time. (laughs) With your angular. (laughs) (laughs) She's a hard face as it is. Yeah. Let alone then, like, looking vexed as well. It's like, Mm -hmm. that's actually not attractive. And it's only been a couple of days. Like, it's just not that deep. Do you know what I mean? Like, it really isn't. So... Life yeah. of God, absolutely right. Cordia should be on Coronation Street or Emmerdale. I can absolutely see her in both of them. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay, so then we had uh, impromptu uh, recoupling. The... I got a text. I got a text. Um, and then we had the um, <clears throat> what's it called? The uh, bombshells picked first. So Keenan went first. He picked Claudia. Um, that was slightly surprising because I thought he was going to pick Sammy. I think because Sammy made it clear that she, um, what do you call That's it? Really she, yeah, do you know what I mean? And also as well, he's got fit into the villa too. Yeah. Was, yeah. Um, so yeah, she. but I did think, uh, my thing, my note here is how did she even survive this, this fast? She's a plant. Like, I, I just think, like, it is the same as, like, with Gemma. Do you know what I mean? Like, you have been guaranteed a spot to a certain point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it seems like. It was very, you know, convenient mm-hmm. at this point that you're getting an extra lifeline with yeah. this as well. Um, mm-hmm. from nowhere. Yeah, it, yeah, definitely. definitely. Didn't make sense. Her face um, was thunder and tears mm-hmm. right away. Her face was thunder. Yeah. She she was not happy, not grateful, nothing. She it's like she couldn't even hold it together. At least Casey was doing. I'm looking straight ahead. <laughs> Face fix. <laughs> she was so happy that happened because now it's not his fault. He doesn't yeah. have to take responsibility for the decisions that are made, which was Rosie's decision next, and she picked Casey because yeah. she wanted to. Do you know what I mean? She vibed with him. They definitely had a connection. You could see it. You know, they were they 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 were twinkling a little bit together. So yes. you know, um, he was feeling her mm-hmm. definitely. Definitely, yeah. Lana picked Ron. No surprises there. Olivia picked um, Max. No. Another thing, <laughs> this is so did you, did you hear her error? Yeah, indeniable rather than undeniable. <laughs> what, what's up with this girl's English? I don't know. <laughs> it's a constant with her. It's a constant. She's like correcting her. And I'm just what? like, how are you this, you know, really sly person? But <laughs> <laughs> bad English. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, oh, I, do, I just because she goes on like she thinks that she's above people like no you shouldn't no you need to be better you need to be well, better their connection is undeniable <laughs> yeah you what mate I hope Max corrects her <laughs> I hope it comes to Max I don't think he's got it in him no he doesn't he's so friggin wet man he does a smouldering thing that she does as well it's like they mirror each other like he puts his head down and he does it too. They were not. They really they are. are they need to go. Let's get them out. So yeah. annoying. Um, and then Sanam picked Kai. No surprises there. Olivia was given yeah, that was the recoupling. Hmm? I said that was the cutest recoupling. I thought her yeah. speech was really cute, and yeah, I was I was happy for them. She's yeah. a boring mess, actually. 
talking about history and <laughs> but anyway um jesse picked will no surprises there sammy picked tom again no surprises and tan tanya was left with the option of Shaq and martin the producer martin, <laughs> martin. Oh, martin. martin. Uncle Martin. <laughs> 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 he knew exactly what the fuck they were doing, mate. Well, and the thing is, I don't know why they would do that to Shaq. Shaq is your boy. Like that was that wasn't nice. That wasn't nice to do that to him because you know his heart was just going all over the place. Like, oh my god, what she doing? <laughs> she... Imagine if she did. Like she said all of that and was like, and in spite of all of that, I just feel like I have a better connection with Marin. <laughs> that would be something else. Oh. oh, people would be dropping on the floor. What do you mean? <laughs> it would be so dramatic. Not like if Shaq had left the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't even want to think about it. Although he is annoying me at this moment, but I, I, I still, I still want him to. Even, him. even Ron would punch a wall. Someone would punch a wall. <laughs> But no, that didn't happen. She picked Shaq. She picked, she picked her sweetheart, <laughs> Shaq. She says she loves loves him. Did she say I love him to pieces? Or something. But either way, she said the, the L word as well in there. Like, and right. he loved it. He really did. Like... <laughs> up like a... And I can't lie. I am glad. <sighs> I'm glad the producer's done it that way. I really am. So, like, because I think my thoughts are that Martin should always remember who brought you into the villa in the first place. So, we're like, <laughs> so, um, I mean, not known it was going to end like that. But then yeah. also, I did like the fact that Martin did apologize to Tanya. No, not apologize. He forgave her um, when he left. Do you know what I mean? So he was just like, oh, this is wrong. I, I love your snapshots of what Martin said. <laughs> like, <laughs> the one. Little bit of a positive that he left for Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I loved his exit because he was about to do the platitudes and say, you know, um, you did nothing wrong. And he was like, no, you did do something wrong, but it's okay. I can I give, give you anyway. I'm just glad he was honest. Yes. And, you know, as he said, this isn't the best experience of my life. <laughs> 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 I loved it all. I was like, Martin, it's a shame that you weren't in there under other circumstances because I actually think he would have made a good housemate, a, a good person in the villa in another way. But yeah, yeah. He, was, he was all right. That was that was a good exit for him anyway. He, he made a moment. It was, yeah, it was definitely one of the best exits, I think. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone's laughing. It was cool. I think it's just like, oh, it feels like all is forgiven now. Do you know what I mean? So they can, Shaq and Tanya can ride off into the sunset. <laughs> food comes along. Or <laughs> celebrity, because Notes was even chatting. <laughs> Did you see that? Let me get this last one. Let's go into, to, into Notes, what Notes says. So Tanya don't love Shaq. She loves how much he loves her. Yes. I, 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 George, I, I agree. agree. Yeah. yeah. 100%. I agree. But I, I agree. wish Shaq would see that, but he doesn't. Or he sees it and he doesn't care. Do you no, know? He's, he's like, um, love conquers all. Yeah. And my love I mean, that's, what, that's what she said, isn't it? Love <laughs> because Shaq has probably said that to her. <laughs> and she's like, okay, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> love does conquer all. Um, and then Sunday night, sorry, just jump into Sunday yeah. night. You just see Claudia in freaking tears. Like, I'm yeah. sick. Like, I can't lie. I just don't. Barling again. Mm -mm. Barling, you know, like not even like little in a bed couple of tears before you sleep she is just out here crying for Casey like have they done something like do you know what I mean like what's what is Casey that hot like I don't know like, is, you... this your, is this your last go like you're only 28 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's like she really must have seen I don't know how she wasn't spotting like cad cad vibes from Casey though. Oh, he really is like a Jack the Lad, yeah, he's just a dude. Like you say, mm -hmm. uh, you can't take him serious. And he's never t he's not telling the whole truth about it. he hasn't told the whole truth about anything. You've caught him out. He basically lied to you. You saw it on the screen. And he lied to your face, and then you said to him, 
but I saw it on the screen and he was just, oh yeah, but I don't know what to say to you. Are you all right? <laughs> and then this is the guy that you're crying over. Are you right? No, you must like pain. You must want pain. You must yeah, want pain. it's a bit mad. It's a bit mad. And you have another dude who is seemingly saying I can get, we can get to know each other. Yeah. So, yeah. Sun, yeah. Sunday's little snapshot, it did seem like, all right. All right, Claudia, come on. Yeah. Enough now. Like, they're <sighs> with all the dramatics. But yeah, notes. What do we think of what Notes is saying about Tanya and her brethren so, leading to a, a suspected maybe threesome? Do we think that is... So the thing is, yeah, so Notes went on a radio show. He was, uh, I think he was asked about it and he was just yeah. like, well, I, all I'm saying is that she wasn't the only one that was there <laughs> in that situation. <laughs> it. I mean, bro, you could have just said nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to do it, but you wanted to, but I, so okay. But it just like because uh what's it called? Um Tanya made such a big deal about um you know uh kissing this celebrity notes. Um yes. bro. <laughs> <laughs> when Shaq <laughs> comes out and sees the blog posts and people chatting about Tanya being a city girl and this note story. I don't know how we're going to handle this. You know what? I think, yeah, Shaq might be one of those people like, yeah, I'm going to come off social media for a year. It's not. <laughs> want to concentrate on my relationship you know like I'm in love I've made a commitment like I think he's going to be one of those guys Oh, I like, hope and I think his friends are probably going to be like guy you should you should look at this and he's just like ah, oh, if it's negative I don't want to look at it like I think he's going to be one of those he is he is he is he is going to be one of those like that's her pass <laughs> everybody's got a pass I've got a pass although his pass is probably mm. not hers but yeah, yeah, he's gonna make excuses. Yeah, I think so. It's it, it'll be too hard, but also as well, I do think like it's different. Like, uh, don't get me wrong. Yeah, the, uh, both Tanya and Olivia, their actions have been <laughs> insane. We haven't seen this kind of behavior from women on this show in a no. long time. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So, so like the uproar. Yes, I, I do get it, but it is a lot. So I just don't know how I just hope they're prepared or, mm -hmm. or they 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 safeguard them when they come they come out the house. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because otherwise that wouldn't be fair. And I think it's like I don't know what's going on with Olivia. Do you know what I mean? Like clearly the producers know that the public doesn't like her, so they keep on showing bits to kind of fuel that fire do yeah. you know what I mean so it's just like well is she going to be able to have an arc I don't know like a redemption arc I don't know I don't think so like is Ta Tanya seems like it, she might be um I think Tanya with time if she focuses on Shaq mm -hmm. she probably could yeah Olivia are we gonna see her turn nice I don't know I just don't think that's her character she's a mean girl trying to be nice to people you she just seems to have like a smug smirk on her face it's, mm. it's actually can't help it i don't know i would think the safest thing to do is not give her too many weeks for it to build is actually mm. like soon. yeah she like, needs to go. yeah just like just let her out soon so mm. then we go into the final weeks and then the heat will die off of the people that are coming out of the the villa like i just think yeah. just yeah, she probably doesn't need to be in there for much longer. And um, Max isn't helping her. Like, Sinam has absolutely helped Kai yeah. raise profile to a whole nother level. It's like, now they really are my favourite couple. Yeah. Max isn't that guy for Olivia, because if he had a bit of a backbone and sometimes he could rail her in and mm. be like, You're talking about them too much, maybe yeah. there would be something about her. But Max isn't that guy. Like Faye and Teddy, right? Yeah. So Teddy always was like, Fit talking to Faye to kind of like manage her, yes, because yes. she was chaotic, <laughs> she was just pure chaotic. I've forgotten about her. She yeah. was probably the first really chaotic girl, mm. really took it to a, a an extra level. Probably the first yeah. one to do that, right? But it was more anger, it wasn't like sloppy behavior, I guess. No, like, no, she was just angry and volatile, yeah. really. <laughs> 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 lives in the 
kids with. Ah! Well, He's apparently, yeah. yeah. They're not together anymore now. So Teddy oh. obviously made it out of the basement, but yeah. wow. <laughs> Oh, the sister in says Olivia has bad vibes. Her aura is no good. She can't turn nice. She is what she is. Not a nice girl. That's mm. how it is. That is definitely how it appears. It's yeah. true. Even when she was like talking to Keena, she was just like, "I'm a nice girl." Thinking yeah. what? <laughs> you say so, love. <laughs> You're delusional, mate. <laughs> That's what you are. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> like, well, not, that's the thing. At least, like, at least own your shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it does go for both of both of them. Like, I just think I don't know. I just don't. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think Tanya is a mean girl to other girls. If that makes sense. But Olivia is just mean to everybody. I don't know. I, have you watched yeah. any video yet? Who? Ellie. No, I haven't. Okay. Let me just. I think I tried to find it. <coughs> oh, it hasn't gone. I, I will find it and send it to you. Yeah. I don't know if Tanya is not a mean girl. I don't know. Really? So, uh, watch Ellie's video. See. I don't what trust you Ellie, do. though, man. Watch it and then let's discuss it when we okay. go live tomorrow with Cam yeah. as well. Because he's okay. seen it. He did a review on it. So oh, okay. Cool, cool. Let, let's talk about that because that could kind of change things a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, guys, we have been on for quite a while again. Not as long as usual, but this is still <laughs> our normal time. So please like this video for all of you that are with us. This is really important. If you like it and share it as well, then we go out to way more people. We will be back again tomorrow at 12 o'clock. We're going to be going live and we're going live with Cam from Topical Juice. He has a really cool channel on YouTube as well. So we're super gassed to have him doing mm -hmm. a live with us. And we're going to be going over the week talking about what's been happening in the house as well. And again, getting into Ellie's video and the insights that she's given, as well as all of the guys that have come out of the house actually have given us a little bit more. Danielle, Zara, they've added a little bit more spice to what we haven't seen. So we'll talk about that. So join us tomorrow live again, be in the comments with us. Like we're creating our family now. And love you guys. We really, really do. I like, really appreciate you guys and subscribe mm -hmm. as well, please. We are all we're so close to getting to that a thousand. Since we've been doing this, we've actually had over a hundred new subscribers as well. So that Ooh. well to us. So just keep that going, you know, as we are your favorite aunties now. So yeah, yeah. we are, we are, we are. Um, and it's uh oh, 12 the video. Yeah. Ashes to ashes, I'm going to put this in the comments. As soon as we finish this live, I'm going to put the link into Ellie's video in the comments. So go into there and then you'll see the link. And give that a watch as well and join us tomorrow. And we can discuss that further. 12 noon, Sistrin. Not midnight. Not yeah. midnight. 12 noon. 12 yeah. p.m. Please. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> and then after Saturday, again, we're going to be back on Sunday. Yeah going hard for you guys it was it sunday is the late one that sunday's when we go live at 11 30 because we watch after sun as well yeah and yeah we're, we're giving you guys content man this is yeah, i hope you i hope you guys appreciate it do you know what i mean and you're being entertained this is fun yeah. and we love having you guys in the comments with us seriously it makes it so much easier and proper fun so yes we'll see you tomorrow okay cool. 12 o'clock. Bye. Bye. Bye.